I want to talk to you a little bit about band identity. Because wow. you, you guys are a very unique band in the sense that you've, you've changed members quite a bit and you always bring on different guests, uh, mainly friends and, and people that you know and have worked with. How do, you, how do you keep steering that ship straight when you get so many different creative minds joining in all the time? <clears throat> well, I think that, you know, for the most part, it's staying focused on what you're doing and being open to an idea, obviously. Um, and uh, I think first and foremost, you have to be able to also say, this isn't working, you know, and not beat something over the head. If all of us don't agree on something to, to be working, we won't do it. The way we go about with, uh, with musical guests, with uh, ideas is just let them bring what they bring and be who they are. You know, there's nothing that, you know, is really not worth us checking out, you know? It's like, if they have an idea on something, you know, we try it. You know, give them, make the, an atmosphere for them to where they're comfortable right. and to where they're uh, willing to, to, to dive, you know, right in, you know? And that's what it is. It's, it's, it's funny because the people that have come out and worked with us in that, in that way, they walk away going like, wow, man, it was nothing like I imagined. Yeah. Because it's, it's just, it's, you know, like I say, first, we really try to make it as comfortable and as natural as possible, you know? Yeah. And, and I think that's why it works. And then of course, you know, it's, you got, you got to be a little selective on who right. you're asking to come out and do something. You know, obviously it won't work with everybody. Are you and Dave Grohl rivals? No, not at all. Yeah? Not at all. There's nothing to rival. I mean, no. It's, he's Dave and I'm, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't want to be him. He don't want to be me. He does what he does. I do what I do. You know, it's, yeah. you know, so it's. But you sat in each other's chair. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, but then there was four other guys that sat there before him. Right. You know? So it's like just something that um, he does what he does. I do what I do. You know, Josh, advice, everybody. You know what I mean? It's like, that, that's part of the reason why it works. You can't be in the Queens and try to be somebody else. It's never going to work. The Queens were never a band that was ever trying to emulate or be anything else or anybody else or another band or this or that, you know, and yeah. um, that's part of the reason why it exists, you know. Uh, I just want to know a bit about the writing process. How does that work? Are, are you sober when you do it? Because honestly, I, I imagine you guys tripping on acid walking through the desert with the guitar and a pen and paper, you know, writing things down. Is that... That happened too. Of yeah. course. I mean, it just depends, you know. It, um, it, it could be... Uh, you know, it could be just that. It could be us, you know, sitting here, doing an interview, having lunch, whatever, and, and, and somebody having some kind of idea about something or, you know, and, and we go today to soundcheck and work it out, and it happens, you know. So you don't need to turn on a switch and say, it's time to start writing, let's do what we usually do to make this happen? No, because there really is no recipe, I think, for, for great music. I don't think... I mean, we all know that uh, it just doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. Um, you have to be selective, you have to be careful, you have to be, uh, you know, willing to actually, uh, you know, look at what you're doing and decide whether it's good or not. Um, and to be able to admit that is a tough thing, you know, so um, we don't know, I don't know what a recipe, perfect recipe is other than just to believe in what you're doing. You know, yeah. you just gotta believe in it, man, and you gotta you gotta know that it's coming from here, and it's not, you know, some cookie cutter shit that's all over the radio and television today. You know what I mean? That, that's kind of scary, man. You know, you think, I mean, how can it not be? That that it was yeah. tragic. You know what I mean? It was like that's a really tragic situation. I think it's obviously really extreme as well, but you know, I guess in this day and age, you gotta be, you gotta think it like that. You know.